golden rule in Bible explanation is you take every word literally if you can. But when you read about the trees clapping their hands, you are allowed then to take that as a metaphor and you don't have to think of the sword coming out of his mouth literally. That's picture language, very vivid. What about the dragon in Revelation, who is the devil? I say to my Christadelphian friends, the devil, the original serpent, is the devil, is the dragon, is the Satan. Come on now, that's an identity. Therefore, that snake in the Garden of Eden was the devil in coded language, just like uh, one person in the New Testament is called that fox, Herod. He wasn't a fox. He's not literally a fox, but he's a fox. Herod was. That snake who spoke was the devil, was the Satan, was the dragon. Dragon is a figurative name for the literal adversary. And our Christadelphian friends are very keen not to tell us the difference between a Satan and the adversary. The definite article is most important.